Nearly 60 million Americans lost money to phone scams in 2021. Yeah, and the money lost nearly $30 billion. That's according to a report from True Caller. The scams happening here in Huntsville. News 19's Hannah Jones joins us live with more on a phone scam that cost one Huntsville resident 20,000 bucks. Well, Kelly and Steve, it all started when David Nuttle was working at home. He's a consultant creating geographic information system maps for 911 centers. And like many of us, he relies heavily on his internet and that strong Wi-Fi connection. So his connection had been going in and out. He received a phone call from someone claiming to be Comcast, trying to help him reset his router and get him back online. From there, the person on the other end of the phone, who even told David a pseudo first and last name, had David complete some command prompts, something the average computer user likely has never done. David says it all seemed very technical and legitimate. The scammer informed David he was being hacked, which is why the internet was down and gave him solutions of how to fix it. From this, they were able to have David install software without him knowing, gained control of his computer, got into his crypto exchange and transferred themselves $20,000. It appears that the hack is so sophisticated, they have a mirror Comcast set up. If you call certain phone numbers, it sounds like Comcast. It sounds like, oh, let me transfer you to security. Let me transfer you. And you speak to humans and they claim to help you. So if someone phones you, they are not who they say they are. So my rule is anyone offering help that you haven't contacted is probably hacking. On their website, Comcast says scammers can manipulate caller IDs, making people believe the call is from a legitimate company. Now, the phone call David received appeared to have come from Philadelphia, which is where Comcast is headquartered. Now, the Better Business Bureau recommends setting up two-factor authentication to ensure your accounts are further protected. They also say if someone calls you claiming to be a company, go ahead and hang up the phone and call them back to see if they are who they say they are. Live this morning, Hannah Jones, News 19.